Complete ruins and death. The village of Rabotino of Ukraine no longer exists. The village of Rabotino, which became the most famous point of last year's counter-offensive of the Ukrainian armed forces, no longer exists today. Now it is a continuous heap of ruins in the bare steppe where corpses of Russian invaders and burnt equipment of the invaders lie between heaps of broken stones. A visual understanding of what the territory of the village looks like now is provided by a video shot from a drone by soldiers of the 3rd Spartan Operational Brigade. The Ukrainian monitoring project Deep State notes that these images illustrate Russian war tactics. Everything around is strewn with corpses, burnt Russian equipment, but they continue to climb like zombies endlessly. You can see the consequences of Banzai attacks in the form of a knocked out unit or single remains of monsters in trenches, pits and ruins. It's difficult for the Russians to gain a foothold there because they themselves raised everything to the ground, analysts say. It is noted that the situation around the former village of Rabotino remains very complex and dynamic. It's just a continuous grey area, ruins and death that Russians bring with it, they say in deep state. According to data in open sources, the village of Rabotino was founded in 1869, although it existed as a farm at least half a century before that. In those days, Tsarism actively promoted the settlement of the Black Sea region by various peoples, but this village was precisely Ukrainian. According to the 2001 census, about 480 people lived in the village. On March the 6th, 2022, the village was captured by Russian invaders and was under Russian control until August 2023. The battles for the liberation of the village began on August the 7th, 2023, and on August 23rd, it was finally cleared of invaders. During these battles, Ukrainian fighters evacuated the last residents of the village who were still there. Rabotino became the southernmost point of the Ukrainian counteroffensive in this direction. Since the beginning of 2024, the Russians have been making significant efforts to return under their control what is left of the village in order to eliminate on the map all the achievements of the summer counteroffensive of the Ukrainian armed forces. Two people were killed after a flash flood caused by continuous heavy rain hit Xinxi City, South China's Guangxi Zhuang Autonomous Region. This was reported by local authorities. The IT was reported that the rescuers found two missing people. Despite providing medical assistance to the injured, it was not possible to save their lives. AT present, search and rescue and elimination of the consequences of the disaster are ongoing. Besides, major rivers, waterways, and reservoirs in China's Guangdong province are threatening to unleash dangerous floods, forcing the government to enact emergency response plans to protect more than 127 million people, calling the situation grim. Local weather officials said sections of rivers and tributaries at the Xijiang and Beijing river basins are hitting water levels in a rare spike that only has a 1 in 50 chance of happening in any given year, state broadcaster CCTV News said. Guangdong officials urged departments in all localities and municipalities to begin emergency planning to avert natural disasters and promptly disperse disaster relief funds and materials to ensure affected people have food, clothing, water, and somewhere to stay. The province, a major exporter and one of China's main commercial and trading centers, has seen major downpours and strong winds for several days, in a weather pattern which has also affected other parts of China. Yeah. 